you gonna follow us? Never touch my hand again today. <laughs> We are out, I think, the earliest we've been out this no, entire trip. No, we had that walk that we went on. Oh, that's true. That was at, Very like, early. Very and we have our little friend little joining us. <laughs> oh. Oh. She's like, I haven't gone this far before. <laughs> she hit an oh. invisible wall. Uh, we're going to Perast, which is another old village uh, in the Bay of Kotor, technically, or is it a different bay? No, I think the whole thing is called the Bay of Kotor. Oh, okay. Well, so. we're going there. And uh, apparently it's very old and there's some cool stuff to do. Probably grab some lunch. Didn't the guy that we meet also say that like a lot of the money is there. Like there's a lot of nice mm. homes and okay. like, celebrities supposedly Would be cool. There. Going to the bus station to see when the bus goes. If not, we'll have to take a taxi. So I hope not. We'll I see. think it'll be cheaper on the bus. Ready to see some old buildings? I've already seen some. Oh, well then, then we should just go back home. Okay. We walked 20 minutes to the bus station just to find out that the Paris line leaves from the old city where we just were. So uh, we just made the shocking discovery that uh, in order to get to Parast, you must go to the... Ooh, to the front of the old town, which we is another 15-minute walk. You would think, as good tourists, you'd be like, oh, well, the the old town is not where you would pick up a bus. You'd think it would be the bus station. At the bus station, but no. Or you would think that being a tourist town, there'd be signs everywhere. No. Well, There's signs everywhere for different boats, not one for the bus. <laughs> not one. So, good to know. Also, we talked to a local today, and. He was not very helpful in letting us know that it might be at the old town. So, that's okay. We got plenty of time. We uh, magically found a bus. And uh, very quickly got on it. Three euro for the bus. The bus schedule changes throughout the year and can be kind of complicated and not always accurate. So I'd recommend checking with your local hotel or Airbnb host just to be sure. It's a very small map. Well, we find ourselves in the city of Parast now. Took the bus here, don't really know how to get back. So that'll be interesting, but Seems really beautiful and quiet and quaint. Paris sits at the center of the Bay of Kotor, the largest bay in Europe. It's considered one of the best preserved Mediterranean towns on the eastern side of the Adriatic. It was also one of the earliest villages, dating all the way back to the Neolithic era. Throughout the centuries, Paris was primarily under the control of the Venetian Republic until eventually in 2006 it became part of Montenegro following the fall of Yugoslavia. Walked all the way up this big hill just to hit a dead end. Yep. This chunky dog is showing us the way. This guy has seen better days. Seems like a lot of dogs are chunky here. <laughs> Did you get some Parmesan ice cream? Parmesan ice cream. Delicious. Oh, hey, epic. you laugh, but you would probably do that. I probably would. <laughs> We got lunch at this spot called Dardine and enjoyed some crispy panko chicken, pasta bolognese, and traditional Paris almond cake. I actually found a recipe for it online. I'll link it in the description below. Next, we made our way to the museum and we even got our own private guided tour that was included with the $5 entry ticket.
Most of the museum artifacts were donated by prominent families of the Paris region. Paris is known for its naval skills and shipbuilding, and it was actually home to the first maritime school in the Balkans, organizing training in naval skills to Russian sailors. During its prominence, Paris was home to over 2,000 inhabitants, but just two centuries later, it dwindled all the way down to about 400, closer to what it is today. Yeah, you could definitely make that sexy. Almost more like a crimper, do you think? Would you test that out? Yeah, I actually would. Maybe a little less rusty ones, but <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Just got done with the museum. Didn't expect it to be like a guided tour, but it yeah. was super me. like well done. She knew her stuff. She really. And I could not hear her. Because oh. I have bad hearing. Well, I was going to say, when it wasn't her first language either, she did a really good job oh, no, of um, talking about the city and the country. Yeah. Country cool. at all. Super well curated, though. It was cool. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, we just had here, some plum wine. No. Pomegranate, Pomegranate wine. Pomegranate wine. It's the same thing, right? No, we had plum wine in the Faroe Islands. We just got mm. to taste pomegranate wine here and it was really good. Yeah. It was pretty sweet. I guess they, like all the sweetness comes from the pomegranates. There's no grapes at all. It's just pomegranates. Makes um, sense. Yeah, it was tasty, but it's really rare apparently because they only make it here and in Azerbaijan, right? Yeah. That's what she said. You didn't hear that? No. Nope. This cat has become infatuated with Schlebby. You say that like it's a hard thing to do. I can no longer sit with my wife. <laughs> I am well pleased. What can I say? She's a little cuter. <laughs> Becoming less well pleased every moment. <laughs> Just got back from her excursion to Parast. I think it's... Purist. 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 Sorry, you can correct us in the comments below. Well, we heard it when we were at the museum. Purist. Oh, maybe you didn't hear it because you couldn't hear her. I didn't hear it. Purist. But we're going to go change and then we're going to go to La Bache and enjoy the sun while it lasts. Next week, we're wrapping up our time in Montenegro with a boat ride. Come along as we explore man-made islands, sea caves, World War II submarine tunnels, and so much more. 